Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to do super close-up macro photography. So in front of me I have a dragonfly and it's a bit windy but with a digital camera you have a high shutter speed. So as you can see I'm about six inches away from this dragonfly and I'm using a Canon PowerShot SX40H as digital camera along with a Raynox macro clip-on lens. So let me show you what this lens looks like. So as you can see, the lens gives you a round border because it's a clip-on lens for a digital camera. So as long as this lens fits onto the front of your camera with a optical zoom, you can use that optical zoom to get high quality photographs using this Raynox lens. So the dragonfly switched spots. So all we have to do is zoom in onto the dragonfly and readjust our focus using the manual focus and get about six inches away from the dragonfly. So if it's blurry, what you probably need to do is move the tripod in closer. So I'm going to lift it up and just go about two, three inches closer. And as you can see, the focus increased much better. So now I can zoom in and use my manual focus and get focused in on the dragonfly and then just hold my shutter button wait for the right sh moment and snap your shot so that's a nice shot i like that and you can get in really close depending on the optical zoom of your camera this one has 35 times so this is full zoom for the sx40 hs so you can see how difficult it is when it's windy. So sometimes it's better to just zoom out and get a far away shot. That looks pretty good. And you'll get better at this as you practice. And as you can see, it's very simple and easy. And then after you get a few shots, what I recommend is simply get up and switch angles and get a shot from a different angle. So I scared away this dragonfly and I don't see where it went. But let me show you how easy it is to find something else to photograph when you're doing macro photography. And as you can see, I'm not even in the sunshine and I'm getting a nice bright look so there's a lot of daddy long legs, but they don't make for very good photographs. So let's see if we can find anything else out here. And a great thing with this is you can, with practice, just do handheld shots. You don't even need a tripod, but all you have to do is zoom in on something and then wait for the proper focus. So here's a really small bug. I don't think I'll be able to get a shot with this wind. Looks like some type of mosquito species, maybe. That was a pretty good shot. So that's all you have to do for macro photography. This camera costs around $100 to $150 on eBay used. The lens is around $50 on Amazon or eBay. And all you have to decide on really is how much you want to spend on your camera. So this is my latest. This is what I use for most of my shots. And this is a Canon PowerShot SX60HS. So this is the latest model. And I use this one because it has 65 times zoom. And it was a bit hard to get the lens to fit, but it's very snug. But with a little work, you can definitely get it onto the front. See, it's no problem. But the problem is it's easy to slip off. See, this one doesn't have ridges or at least I pulled the ridges off somehow, but it still fits on there and you can get great shots. So that's all you really need for macro photography. The camera I'm recording with right now is the SX40HS. 
this is the expensive new model so this gets much better shots much better video in 60 fps but you can get amazing photos with both of these